Captain on the bridge. Alrighty, Captains, we are back on the bridge, and today, well, you know what we're already gonna go through. So, on screen. So I thought it would be fun to go over a new ship incoming. Well, it's it's not a new ship. I should say a new remaster. So about around May 24, not about, on May 24, Thomas Marone, and shout out to you, Thomas. Again, I'd like to just take this opportunity to just huge, huge shout out to our dev, Thomas, for all the work that he's done. He's just been knocking it out of the park, Captains, and we've at every opportunity try to give the props where the props are due. But for this particular one, we wanted to go over this little tweet here because in the last 24 hours, it has been confirmed. So May 24th, Task Force 421 flagship is the USS Yamato, leading its vanguard element of the USS Shenzhou and USS Kabat. The USS Yingli provides small craft cover while the USS Bating will manage disaster relief, the USS Tapal will provide squadron lo logistical support. So this was a great picture, and a lot of lo lot of us took notice. But here, the bottom right corner, this particular ship right there. But I did mention, of course, you got the Miyamoto there, you got the Shinzu, you got a Shran, a Wing Strike, of course, this pasture type of ship, the Olympic. But this was actually the focus. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he did this on purpose. And a lot of speculation was made about this, that this was the, I believe what you call the Shakar, which is in Star Trek Online, one of the oldest, if not the oldest skin that we have available to us at this point of this video. Now, it's an interesting look. And again, you got your saucer configuration, the whole undersling roll bar. The deflector is actually more prominent in this one. And of course, the nacelles, they look like those nacelles from the, one of the Challengers or from the ships from Wolf 359. And again, those pylons that have those holes, not a huge fan of them, but sometimes they work for me and sometimes they don't. So again, this was a huge, huge uh, moment when we saw this. So... Less than 24 hours ago, this tweet was out there. It was about 18 hours ago, as of this video. So, a few of you might have noticed the unidentified Miranda variant, quote-unquote, in one of the recent renders I posted. Some of you guessed correctly that it is a redesigned and remastered Shikar class light cruiser. It will be coming to Star Trek Online this summer. So, again, we'll have a closer look at this ship. TNG vibes all the way through, Captains. TNG vibes. And just from this picture alone, the one thing that you can totally tell, <laughs> it's like they just took the secondary hull, the deflector of the galaxy, and just plot it right straight <laughs> right on their roll bar. But you can kind of see the elements here. You can see the shuttle bay there. Kind of an open bay shuttle bay, which is kind of a theme that's going on lately in Trek. A little bit closer look there, but there was more pictures posted on this bad boy. So, again, we'll actually just take this out here, have a closer look. Again, you just see the pylons there. The cells, collector, shuttle bay, I believe, yeah, phaser strips right there. And didn't really get a good look at the aft. And captains, you know I'm a very aft captain. But he released more pictures. So the new design was created for us by Starship Maestro EC Henry One. Captains, we'll link his YouTube channel in the description below. He has done some great work for Star Trek Online. Huge, huge shout out to you, EC Henry, for the for the work. I believe one of his most recent work was the Da Vinci. So that's a great little ship. It was a tier six skin of the Saber. And is A. I don't even know how to say that. Of the original Shikar design and the TNG aesthetic. It will completely replace, Captains, the old model. The current version of the Shikar won't be available when this goes live. So, Captains, get your Shikar on before this goes. So, we'll have a look here. 
at the pictures posted. So here is the new Shakir Light Cruiser. Again, this is completely free. This is awesome. Looking at this initially, you kind of, again, it's Miranda vibes, right? You see it from afar. I don't necessarily like what they've done with the aft section. I said I was an aft captain. It it just, I don't know why. It re <laughs> This is no slight at all to EC Henry. No, this is just me. Captains, I have things that go on in Trish's head that make me think of things. So bear with me here. The reason why. <laughs> I'm thinking of this, it reminds me of Mommy Triz's old slipper. <laughs> okay, bear with me. So, here's the slipper, the saucer, and the whole hull, essentially. Okay, that's the slipper. And then, the hole's there, the roll bar, that's where your feet go. <laughs> I'm not saying this is the USS slipper, okay? I'm not. But maybe if I do a build video on this, it's going to be the asset <laughs> slipper. Just saying. Just saying. But in all kidding aside, again, it's a remodel. It's a remaster. It's free. So, again, great work. It does kind of give off the TNG vibes, which I can appreciate. Captains, you know I love my TNG. That is the era that I came in there to Star Trek. So, looking at the above... Again, you kind of have that roll bar, which is a little wider. And then the elongated saucer. You have the second the deflector there. I don't see a torpedo launcher there. But I believe, we're pretty sure they're going to have a torpedo. This is a Federation ship. It's going to always have a torpedo launcher somewhere. You can see some of the phaser strips there. You don't see it in this picture, those, those bays, the shuttle bay there. But again, the detail of this is the work that they put into these remasters is just unbelievable. I, just huge props, huge props. There's again, top, bottom, the side profile, front and the back. Love the deflector. I will say I do love the deflector. I love that little aspect here that you got the deflector and it's kind of not just sitting above, it's actually connected to the saucer. I do appreciate that. Here, here's some here's some more detailed shots, and I love these shots. They really do look good. Of the old Shikar versus the new Shikar. Now I will say, and we're actually gonna go in game captains to, to look at this model a little closely. I will say when I first started Star Trek Online, and I got access to the Taylor, I initially looked at them like, yeah, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Now, unfortunately, again, we won't have access to this because there was the the roll bar here that I actually did like and the saucer to a certain degree because it had a little bit more, I don't know, it just, it just it flowed a little bit more to me in terms of the whole one-piece saucer to hull design rather than this. But again, not knocking, this is no knock on E.C. Henry or Thomas at all. It's great work that they've done here. Again, but this model was pretty dated. Like we're 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 saying it, poof, it it needed some love and update. And here we go. So we get a closer look at the deflector again. Just galaxy class deflector all over. And again, here is the again they've they've kind of blended that and made it go into the actual saucer here. Again, there's your phaser strips. Better you know, there's the phaser strips. There's again, you see here the shuttle bay again here. So there's two, two shuttle bay there, front of the saucer on either side of it. Again, cool looking in a sense. There's a phase strip there. I don't see this could be a torpedo launcher up there above the deflector, which wouldn't be new, or maybe this is not, it doesn't even have, oh, that could be torpedo launcher there. But again, yeah. It needed, or it would have been nice if they just would have just retextured this, in my opinion, and kept it in there as just an ode, you know, an ode to the OG. And now we got a, all a little bit more shots of the new Shikar. Again, nothing really bad to say about the texture of how this looks, with the exception of I, what I said, it looks like Triz's mom's old slipper. Just the way that it's shaped, Captains. I'm not, again, there's no shot. I do, again, I love the deflector. I really do. 
So we're gonna we're gonna say that that little hole there above the deflector is a torpedo launcher. Yes, we're gonna say that. In my head, that's how it works. Got a couple more shots here. So here's the old. So we'll go a little more detail. So here again. The design of this, it wasn't really necessarily bad. The, if there was any design that I didn't really necessarily like about this, it was those pylons because of how just bad it looked. Now, if you would have just kept this, if this in game, and then be able to use the new pylons, I think that would work. I think that would work. I, I like the nacelles actually, and, and the saucer here, you see that it had like holes in the actual saucer. And it didn't come into like one flowing shape. It kind of cut off here and then had an aft section, which kind of reminds me of the Bozeman model, Star Trek Online, which is the fleet model that you can get of the T6 Miranda. And I did, again, I like this. It had the deflector and the torpedo launchers on top of it. But yes, very dated model. I believe they could have just retextured this. It would have been fine, in my opinion. So there's more shots here that we're going to go over here and more of Thomas tweet. My thought process is that the old design and model are nowhere near representative of where the quality bar is for stow ships these days. And replacing the old one means that we can be proud of every variant of the Miranda. They are all roughly consistent in quality now. I get that. Like, I really do get that and can appreciate that when it comes to his thought process. And this is why he did it. Couple more shots here with the background removed. There's a bit more of the app. Again, I can't, I will, I'll stop saying it. But again, texturing just far enough. It's just awesome. It, oh, after Peter Launcher. Yes! Woohoo! Okay, we actually more shuttle bays here. That out there. And again, just another shot of it. So the US is to Paul. So you got one, two, three, four shuttle bays there. Would have been awesome if there's another one there. <laughs> would have been awesome then make this have like a hanger on its own but again this is a free free well, here's a closer shot of it again so there's that torpedo launcher that will say that is a torpedo launcher phaser strips there Should a little closer look at the shuttle bay and a closer look at the saucer so now what we're gonna do caps so again this is a chance for you captains those who are actually attached to your shakar to go in game now to have a look. So what we're gonna do is go in game here, put that on screen. And here's mine, the USS Kanagawa. And yes, this thing, I didn't actually mind when you look at this. I loved the roll bar here again, cause the only thing I'd love to change here is the deflector. In terms of because like you can just really look that really means an update but yeah you got your torpedo launchers there fore and aft and and this is the part i was saying here where the saucer it kind of had a cool shape to it i didn't really like the holes in it but it kind of cut off here and then elongated the back here and then you had i believe those are shuttle bays or not maybe that's just an impulse because it didn't have a shuttle bay here but they're making it so that the new model does have a shuttle base here in the, the front of the saucer and of course in the app. I loved the nacelles of this. It, did, it I just think it worked for me. And like I said, that roll bar, it looked very like a combat orientated roll bar. A closer look here at the beautiful details, <laughs> beautiful details of this. Jakar that will be going going gone of the dodo bird the way of the dodo bird but again it it wasn't too bad the only thing that was egregious about this was the the pylon but if you put the new pylons on this i think that would do great but still kind of uh, now see this is where the feet would go through the toes sorry um and i did appreciate this too it looks like it has the phaser cannons here then a port for an Omni, another phaser beam there. So yes, a very dated model, but still, you know, it would have been nice if they could have just kind of retextured this and kept this in game. But maybe captains will have fun. We'll mess with this a little bit here before this does go the way of the dodo bird, like we said. 
because again, this is like one of the OG models that I, I can remember going to the tailor and just saying, yeah, this, this kind of works, you know, and when, when it comes to Star Trek captains, you know that I love, I love my, my ships, especially Federation designs. And when I came here to Star Trek Online, it kind of gave me sort of that, almost that little freedom to do some kit bashes. And that's why I said it would be nice to kit bash. Can you imagine captains kit bashing all the ships that we own, whether it be Sea Store or the promo ships, anything. There would be a lot of work, but having said that, we have mentioned it before in some of the reviews that we've done that it is possible. And of course, actually, the Miranda is one of the best examples, as we call it the Miranda Kowski, because with the recent T6 Legendary, uh, the multi -Clark, multi mission Clark version of this, you can kit bash any anything that the Miranda has. So again, there's that to look forward to. This could be able to kit bash the new skin is gonna be able to kit bash with already what Miranda parts you have. But again it's kind of cool if they would have just left it. I, I love this torpedo pot. I wish I can actually use that on other ships, but again can you imagine things that they would have to do of course when it comes to kit bashing these ships is scale because you wouldn't necessarily want the scale of the say sovereign nacelles on this shikar class but what you could do is scale it smaller and then underslung it i think that'd be pretty cool but i thought it'd be a fun video to do captains to just sort of give some respect to this og model and again a huge huge shout out to thomas for sharing this with us letting us know that this is going to be free it's going to be free we'll go back to the picture there on his Twitter or the ship so that we can give it a little bit more look before we go here. It is going to be, like I said, Gab, it's a free remodel that we're going to get no Zen and appreciated for sure that there's no cost to us, but makes you kind of wonder if there's going to be any more remasters coming along with the old skins, which probably is what they're going to do, but probably going to be only done when they have the time to when they're not working on the new content but i thought again it'd be fun to do because i love talking about star trek i love talking about star trek ships and what we're probably going to do is mess around with this the old shikar so we can have a log of it along with when this comes out use this model put a build on it just use it for the pew pews and then maybe do some kit bash ability captains i have an idea i'm gonna check out the community poll that we'll probably do in the near future when it comes to this i will i thought it just just right now but there you go captains i thought it'd be just fun to just go over this give the props where the props are due to thomas Moreau and of course ec henry as well like i said we'll link the description below to ec henry's youtube channel along with these pictures. This is on Thomas Murrow, but we'll link it below as well. So captains, look out for the ship incoming this summer. Again, it will completely replace the Shikar. So get your Shikar love on before it's completely gone. <clears throat> that worked out so well. But captains, we're gonna leave it at this. Live long and prosper.